Today's video is all about handbags. I was tagged by Tashira of Politics and Fashion. I love her content, she's so funny. She does a really great job of infusing a little bit of comedy with a lot of fashion and politics. So I really love that and you guys have to check her out. In the off chance that you haven't already, which I'm sure you already have, but in the off chance that you haven't, check the description box because I will have her tagged in the uh, description box. But she tagged me to select my top five handbags, the handbags that I would 100% repurchase if my entire handbag collection was wiped out. Now this tag was started by Jeronica Mycia. So make sure you guys go back to her video to see like, you know, everyone who's been tagged and you can check out all the creators who have already participated in the tag if you want to, you know, see more handbags and get more ideas of your next handbag purchase if you're just curious or if you just love handbags. First up, this Saint Laurent clutch. It's a wallet on a chain, but I wear it as a clutch or a crossbody bag. Now the reason why I love this bag so much is because first of all, I've worn this bag so many times, like literally, more times that I could count. And I mean like the cost per wear on this bag now is, I got it for free basically. That's how many times I've worn this bag. I love it, I'm always recommending it. It's in such good condition because it is a nice like long wearing leather. Like this is a nice sturdy leather. It does not scratch, it doesn't scuff, it doesn't bend. It, it, I mean like nothing and I've worn this bag a lot. I love how it has this tassel, I love the gold hardware. And Saint Laurent has one of the best like hardware selections that I have found. I never have any issues with their hardware. And this bag is just like a good go-to for me. Like I know this bag is gonna get me through. If I have an outfit, I don't know what bag to reach for, I'm gonna reach for this one. And I just love the tassel. And it has a couple compartments, like you can put a couple cards in it. It has this long chain that I like to wear crossbody, but you know you can like uh, wrap it around the closure and then you can wear it kind of like a shoulder bag if you wanted to do that as well. You can take the chain off if you wanted to and put it on another bag. It has a little zip pocket. I just think this is an all around really great bag. And anytime anyone asks me for a bag recommendation for like their first luxury purchase or anything like that, I always recommend this one just because I've worn it so many times and it's a classic color combo to black with the gold. I mean, you can't go wrong. This is such a cute bag. Next up, my Loewe puzzle. And this probably is my favorite and most worn bag out of my entire collection. I, I can say that about this bag. <laughs> I really love it. It's a great size. I can fit so many things in here. Like I can fit everything I need and have a little room. And I just think this is a really attractive bag. It's one of those bags that's like, if you know, you know, and I love things like that. And I also really do love the Loewe symbol. I think it is probably the most elegant, elevated symbol that you can stamp onto something. I love that you can't like blatantly read the label. And if you know, then you know. I really love that about this bag. And it's just, it's just really cute. And I like the entire idea behind it. Now, story time about this bag. When I first got it, I was obsessed with it. I still am. But at the time, I just, I realized that some websites had bags listed, the puzzle bags listed as just puzzle. And some websites had it listed as puzzle edge. Now, at the time that I was, you know, looking to purchase one, I had not seen one in person. I didn't know anyone who had one in person. So I really was just going off of like videos that I'd seen, pictures, just, you know, hearing about it. So when I got it, I was just like, you know, this bag is gorgeous. I'm obsessed. I love it. I love it. And I still really do. But fast forward to now, hearing murmurs about Loewe puzzle being discontinued. They're not going to make it anymore, blah, blah, blah. But now it has come out that the original puzzle is being discontinued and the puzzle edge is what's going to be going forward. And this is a puzzle edge. So once I found out that information, I was kind of like, really? Like I really wanted a puzzle because I just thought that was such a cool idea. I really love the idea of all the different leather panels being crafted and put together um, to form this like really cool bag. So when I found that information, I was just kind of like, oh, you know, it kind of like took the special out of the bag, but I still really love it. And I 100% would purchase another one, even like the Puzzle Edge. But now knowing that information, I do want an original puzzle and I still want a mini puzzle. But overall, I do not regret this bag. I love it. And like I said, if I had to pick one bag out of my entire collection, it would be this one just because it goes with everything. Super practical. It's still really cool, really cute. And I always get compliments on this bag. I mean, it's just really cute. And I feel like this bag right now is what like the Louis Vuitton Speedy was in its time. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I feel like it's a really good bag that fits a lot. It's a really good shape and it's just like, it's just super attractive and everybody wants one. So hopefully that's not like a sign of what this bag will become, but I think the, the Speedy's coming back anyway. <laughs> 
Anyway, that's maybe the end of the day. I really love this bag and I would highly recommend it. Okay, so my next pick is actually two picks. You can call it a bonus bag if you want to. They're both metallics, uh, so I feel like they fit in the same category. But either way, I couldn't live without these two bags. I love them both equally. And it's these two. They're both metallic and they're gorgeous. I love them both for, like for what they are. So first off, let's just talk about this one. This is my Saint Laurent Lulu. This is the medium size. I really, really love this bag. When I first got this bag, I'm pretty sure that was like during the time when the Lulu bags were like, everyone loved them. They were so cute. They're still so cute. I really love the size of this one in particular. This size is the perfect size. It's not too big, not too small. I can wear it during the day. I've worn this as an evening bag. I just love it. I just love everything about it, like the chevron, the leather's really great, the hardware, you know, that Sailor Moon hardware is so good, I never have issues with it, and I just love this bag, so I actually did a review, like a full, you know, video dedicated to this bag when I first got it, and I still love it, just as, I, just as much as I loved it when I first got it, it was the last one in the store, I was so excited that I was able to get it, I just think this bag is perfect. I wore it recently when I was in New York, and I wore it just like crossbody, super casual. And you guys know, if you watch my channel, I love to wear my specialty pieces. I love to wear them just like everyday items, really casual. I love to mix my special looking items with my really, really casual pieces, just because that's the way I get more out of my wardrobe. And I just love this. So cute, like I said. And I could fit so many things in it. So not only is it cute, it's pretty practical. And this was before like, you know, tiny bag energy came into the picture so <laughs> i can fit a lot in here so I, I always love to reach for this bag whenever i feel like i want to wear this with, with an outfit next up my little fendi fendi graphy bag i love this bag this is like one of my newer bags and i just think it's so cute when i first saw this bag i just was obsessed with the fact that you can wear it as a bracelet it looks like a little wonton you know what i mean like a little dumpling it's so cute and that's like my favorite feature the fact that you can wear it as a bracelet now obviously you can't fit too much in here but this is like a perfect evening bag um that's usually what i wear it i mean i would wear it in the daytime but i haven't gotten a, a chain strap for it yet or an additional strap to like you know wear it cross body or on my shoulder but i just think this is such a cute bag now, when I first got this bag, I was shopping around, you know, looking at other handbags from Fendi specifically. And I had thought about getting like the micro sunshine tote or the really small size sunshine tote. And I thought that was a cute one. You can fit it like, in, you know, fit your phone in there. It's really the size of a phone bag. You know what I mean? Like I might be able to put a lip gloss in my phone, a couple cards and call it a day. I could wear a cross body or top handle. And I just thought that one was so cute. My only hesitation with that was the fact that it had Fendi stamped across the front. And I really go back and forth about having so much like like logo heavy items. There are very few logos that I just love and want to like walk around with them all over my clothes. And so I like the Fendi, Fendi Graphy logo, like the one that's like in script. But this one just written so plain and boldly across the bag, I really went back and forth about. But I like the way they did it. It's at the bottom of the bag, so it's more like feet. And you kind of get like a peekaboo when it's on your wrist or, you know, when you're walking and, you know, you kind of like see it. So I really like the way they did this. And overall, the bag is just so cute. I mean, a bag is a bracelet? Come on. And the same sentiment goes for my next bag pick. And I just love this bag so much, but I did also go back and forth about the fact that it has the name plastered across the front of the bag. And that is my Saint Laurent tote. I love this tote, you guys. I love this tote. And I really wanted it, when it first came out, I wanted the original size, which was the larger size. It's huge, it was gorgeous. It's made out of linen. I mean, it was like, I knew it was gonna be hard wearing. I, I just figured it would be a really great bag. So fast forward to when I actually got the bag, I saw that they had this size available. And I was like, this is the size, this is the bag for me, I have to get it. Because the larger size, one of the common, um, I guess, comments I saw people were having with the larger size was that it's so easy to overfill it because it is so huge and there's no additional like shoulder strap, it's only this top handle strap. So it really can get weighed down and uncomfortable to carry. And I know that to be true after having this bag and really using it because I fill this one up to the max and it is really heavy, you know, to carry on my, to carry on my arm and even to carry top handle because I've worn this bag as my airport tote to the beach, to the pool, um, when I need to have like a work day outside of the house, throw my laptop in it. I've worn this bag for a lot of different reasons and I love it. I mean, I don't have to be careful with it. I don't have to baby it and I love that about it. It's linen so I know it's gonna be honestly a forever bag. I think it is so cute and I love the way the branding is written very neatly across the bag. So for me, this was a really, really good investment.
And one thing I just want to mention is I know that people watch these like handbag pick videos because they're thinking about what their next luxury handbag purchase is going to be or they're thinking about, you know, what their first handbag, luxury handbag purchase is going to be. And one thing I always like to just tell people, if you are not solid in the fact that you want that bag to be your first or your next bag, then just think about maybe in terms of it being uh, something that could be a classic. Like this bag, when it first came out, you know, when it was new, Maybe some people would have been like, oh, that is a lot for a tote bag, whatever. If you waited a second, you don't always have to get everything when it first comes out, first of all, let me just say that. And if you wait a second, you'll see if the brand starts to put out, you know, more color combinations or, you know, different variations in the size because this bag comes in now in tons of colors, um, colorways, and it also comes in a, like a slimmer kind of like skinnier version something more narrow you know what i mean like you can you'll see that this bag is going to be around for a while so maybe in a couple of years it'll still be a thing if that's a factor in how you pick your handbags you want to make sure you're still carrying something that's going to be fashionably relevant that's something you can think about otherwise buy what you like buy what you love buy what's useful for your collection and you know you, you can never go wrong that way now my last pick is my farragamo trifolio bag I love this bag. I think that this bag is super underrated. The leather on this bag is gorgeous. I mean, when I saw this bag, I actually got this one from Bloomingdale's. When I was walking through Bloomingdale's and I saw this bag on display, immediately the color is what got me. I was like, oh my gosh, this bag is absolutely beautiful. And then once I like looked into it and saw what it was, I was like, wow, this is such a good bag. Now I had had Ferragamo pieces before, but I don't know, I guess I just, just like everybody else, I just wasn't that into the handbags or just like a lot of other people because I know it's some people that was already on it and they knew how good the Ferragamo leather was. So they was already, they already knew. But I hadn't had very much experience with the Ferragamo handbags. Only the accessories, sunglasses, the shoes, those kinds of pieces. But when I saw this bag, I was like, oh, this is so gorgeous. But it just so happened at the time that I saw this bag was also, I really feel like that was when we first heard about um, Maximilian Davis and you know him being the new creative director of Ferragamo and all these new designs so I was actually looking for a more current Ferragamo design and I stumbled on this one and I just was so drawn to the color and I really liked the shape of the bag and then I found out that this was a classic for the Ferragamo house and this is something that was already around so I would definitely repurchase this bag again because obviously it's been around for so long. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. And I do really love the shape. And shoulder bags, as we know, it has had a resurgence for some time now. So this is just this is just a nice classic shaped handbag that's very practical. Absolutely beautiful. The leather is everything. And I love the gold hardware. I mean, this is just a good bag. Now, if I was to repurchase this bag, I probably would get it in a different color. Um, only because... This isn't a color that I always go for, but I do really love. Do you know what I'm saying? But otherwise, this is a really, really great handbag. Thank you guys for watching. Huge thanks to Tashira from Politics and Fashion for tagging me. And just like I was tagged, I want to tag a few other creators that you may or may not have heard about. Uh, Tanika B, she has a really great handbag collection, so I already know she might probably have some new stuff for us. Uh, Kaylin Alex, she's a fashion girly and she has some really cute pieces, so I would love to see her handbag collection. And I think Pockets and Bowls also tagged her. And I would also love to see the Chic Maven. She has such elevated, elegant style, and I would love to see her handbag collection as well. And I would encourage you guys to let me know in the comments some of your fashion favorites that you haven't seen participate in this tag that you would love to see. Just like you guys are looking for new content, I am too. And I would love to be introduced to some new content creators, some new fashion content creators. I'm all about checking out, you know, everybody that's involved. So make sure you guys leave them in the comments. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you made it this far and you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Because I would love to have you. If you want to catch me on some of my other socials like Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok, I'll have all that in the description box as well. Thank you guys again and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.